from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube. Covering AWS reInvent 2015. Now your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live in Las Vegas for AWS Amazon Web Services reInvent 2015. This is SiliconANGLE Media's The Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise, we collect the dots, we connect the dots, share that data with you, interview the thought leaders, executives from the companies making the changes in startups, and we do all that here. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. Our next guest is Alan Cohen, who is the COO of Illumio, Cube Alum. Well, welcome back, you guys launched on theCUBE last year. Not Absolutely. launched, but you kind of launched. Oh, we, we were like it. three weeks out of stealth. But you're not really launched until you've been on theCUBE, yeah. right? That's totally, right. Totally, right? Yeah. yeah. And so you guys had good success. Obviously, great investors. Yeah. This perimeterless security model really was pioneered by you guys. You guys That's were right. first ones out there talking about, I'm certainly not pioneered. It's the security model is what it is. It's the market. Right. But it's a, it's a sea change from perimeter. Right. So that kind of genie's out of the bottle. So right. what's next? Well, I mean, I think some of the news, John, that we want to talk to you, you, the folks about is that last week we made a bunch of announcements with both Docker and Mesosphere. So if you think about it, you're seeing this fundamental change in the compute layer, right? I mean, we went from bare metal and client server um, 10, 12 years ago, my investor Steve Herod, those guys, VMware came in and they started to create much more distributed computing. We're seeing one more bigger wave now with this container movement and the thing that's very exciting about it is it's very easy to spin up, it's very dynamic. Um, it's also very different, right, because you can run a Docker container for six minutes, lock it down. Um, there's, a lot of this stuff is now starting to run in environments like Amazon, right, and we always think Amazon's the company that broke the perimeter for the enterprise, and now the compute layer is a lot more active, so you're seeing all of that evolution going on, and for, you know, the thing for Lumio is that uh, security had enough trouble in the data center, and we have, you see the year of the two years of breaches we've had. Now you come into this environment with much more dynamic computing, and so for us, being able to move in with these you know, emerging leaders in the space, yeah. pretty exciting. A lot of our customers are, are very excited about this. So Alan, one of the themes here at Amazon reInvent this year is the data layer, the fabric, or yeah. data is now the most important commodity or resource, right. not the compute. So the data is traveling to applications, you got Internet of right. Things, so it doesn't really change the security model, but it, it will have to be, not tweaked, but thought differently. Well, let, let me give you something to think about. In the old days, you would write your application to the infrastructure, and if this show and what's going on now teaches you anything, infrastructure has to compete, I'm sorry, infrastructure has to compete for applications not the other way around. Uh, applications are just how you use your data. So we are a, effectively a data and um, application out security company, not an infrastructure in. So what you just said, we completely believe on it. Every day, twice on Sunday. That's yeah. exactly how we th think things are it going on. It reinforces the infrastructure mindset of perimeter, that's gone. So people are coming to get that, but the reality is, is that the tsunami of app development, yeah. workload, focus, really yeah. is a data conversation. Well, it's a data conversation, and if you think about who's the fast crowd in the infrastructure world, it's the DevOps guys. It's the people who think about continuous delivery, right, in this new model. So, they're in charge. Like, they may not be in charge everywhere, but they are increasingly in charge. Budgets are going there, decision making's going there, because they actually face the business, and they're all about fast. You know me, go slow and no, right? It's like the fast crowd or the winning crowd in applications. So this is the sticker, this is the t-shirt that you're wearing. Absolutely. Um, better, stronger, faster. That's some clouds in there, I get the cloud. Okay, cloud. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously bumper sticker, literally. Right. What, what, what does it mean? Well, I think, you know, you could actually reverse it. So faster is the key motion, right? The reason why there's now, I don't know, 19,000 people here in Amazon and an $8 billion run rate as a business is because I could take a credit card and I can actually uh, start to build an application in minutes. So that's the faster. The better part is about how does something become much more resilient, reliable, and secure? And the stronger part is I'm putting really significant data into the cloud. If I build a Hadoop cluster, um, if I put something up on Cassandra, a set of databases in Amazon, 
And if that's not protected and that security is not stronger, I've got a big problem because I have just put my IP and my company's brand in my reputation. So security has to be better, faster, stronger. You know, better we were just all thinking about Kanye West when we were kind of coming up with t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> well, we definitely need you for marketing for the Cuban. Yes. We'll talk about that later, a little side <laughs> deal. Um, well, give us the update on the Lumio status. Obviously, you guys had the product. We went yeah. for a briefing at your office. We got the whole yeah. lay of the land. Whole new, big, go big or go home, as you said on theCUBE. Yeah, that's right. How are we doing on that? How's it uh, looking? Well, so the company right now, I don't know the last time we saw you, we're growing very rapidly. We're in about 50 production customers. You know, it was probably a dozen when we saw you, uh, I don't know, six months ago. Lots of very large deployments. Um, you know, I would say that we're 140 people, you know, we're trying to double the company if we can find enough really good people. Yeah, that's so, a hey, challenge. I'm on theCUBE today, great developers, great sales people, great marketing people, great DevOps people, we're all looking for you. Are and you overvalued? Will the people make money on the stock options? Everyone's going to make money. If you think that, um, well, you know, if, we, if you were for pure storage, $3 billion oh. valuation, well, let me give you a sense of this, right? Yeah, I mean, so, just give a taste for the recruiting message. Well, I mean, I, you know, look, our, you know, we don't talk about valuation, because valuation is a point in time, and it's irrelevant until something is liquid, but I think the thing that's important is that the security market today is about $75 billion, the cybersecurity market. It's supposed to be about $100 billion, according to Gartner, in 2018, and it's supposed to be about 150 to 100 to 200 billion in 2020, depending on how you estimate it. Security's growing five times faster than IT spending. So the market's there, the addressable market, obviously we have to continue to execute. Need, and budget, build. timing, all there. They're all there. Well, I think you know what we're, we're coming out of is a period is that most companies have a security deficit. They've underinvested in their security or they have focused on the perimeter. All the attacks are in the interior. So there's going to be both a shift of focus and an increase in spending. So you know, people have to pay down that security debt and they have to get out of that security deficit. And we're hoping, yeah. and we're not the only ones working really hard to be, take advantage of that shift in spending. So we've been talking on theCUBE, obviously since you've been around, yeah. the perimeter security, Steve Harrod laid that yeah. out, I think the year before at VMworld, um, the perimeter uh, thesis. But now the conversation shifts to, forget that, that's the horse is out of the barn, the genie's out of the bottle. It's how you approach security. It's no longer defend, it's assume they're in. Right. So, so that is the new model. So John, I'm going to give you a preview sneak only for the preview. Next week you're going to see a piece of research that Illumio sponsored with a research house about, well, I'm interviewed um, close to a thousand IT folks around the world, and their number one issue is containment, right? The issue isn't the, is the bad guy going to get in. The question is, what's the blast radius when the bad guy is gets in? So you assume that they're in. They're assume that you're you in. You got to look for the pattern of in, yes. not prevent. That's right. It's definitely well. Look, you still want to prevent, right? Yeah, like, I mean, like no, basic you, things you can do. I mean, you live in a house. You, you leave your front door locked or closed when you go to bed. You lock your front door. Right, nobody's not going to leave it. You don't leave and say, hey, the kid, they, well maybe they don't. No, hey, I lock my door. Very household, this. the door is always locked, the alarm, the Doberman's at the front. We you know go downstairs, that. the combination to the safe is, uh, no. That's okay. right. So the issue is when the bad person is in, how far can they go? Can they exfiltrate your data? Can they fan out and you know, get into all your other servers and get that really important IP that you're trying to protect? You know, we're talking about data. So our focus is really about seeing when something bad happens and containing the blast radius. And you know what, that's going to, I predict that you heard it on theCUBE, the next 12 months, most of the conversation is going to be about containment as opposed to it. Because, you know, if you think about something like a piece of malware, it gets on a server, it may sit there for three years until it does something. You know, it's like you're kind of going to get detection fatigue. The question yeah. is when it wakes up, did you recognize it doing something yeah. bad and did you contain it? I would agree 100%, that's exactly the way we're seeing on theCUBE. So as we collect the dots right. over the series of events, it's very clear. That that's is right. the new normal. That's right. So yeah. the question is, is your data, is your security, is your infrastructure, is it doing what it needs to do to contain the damage? And the number one variable in containment is timing. So if I see something, in Illumio's world, if we see something bad in the first 30 seconds, we can alert people, hey, something bad is going on there. Um, 30 seconds is a lot better than four months. Right, a lot more damage happens in four months. Well, people aren't putting their head in the sand, that's for sure. Not anymore, people are all awake. Everybody's awake. Right? Okay, it's so I got to ask you, we got one, in the last minute here, talk about what's going on at the show. 
uh, with Amazon, respect yeah. to security, because they're introducing some new things, some what looks boring on paper, but actually they're filling in a lot of white space right. and tooling, visualization. This timing thing is coming back, having stuff readily available, the data. Right. Maybe not the comprehensive security solutions, but they got a baseline. Yeah. The audit stuff's a huge deal. I, I think there's two really good things that we hear, Fry, that Andy Jashti and the rest of the folks have been talking about these first days. One is they are filling out the less of the portfolios, um, their security portfolio, and some of the tooling to allow the, uh, the enterprise to, um, to, to really uh, have a lot more confidence. The other thing they're starting to do is put out a lot of metadata, so a system like mine can now get threat feeds and information in from Amazon, that's and then DevOps, take action. That's a DevOps ethos. It's all about DevOps, it's all about RESTful APIs, taking that information and in, making that decision and deciding It actually makes you scary. stronger, so they're a sharing economy player. They're totally they're, sharing the economy. They're sharing their data. This is the fastest growing platform in computing today, right? If they're an $8 billion run rate business, what? how big is the uh, ecosystem that's going to grow around them? So I think, I think they totally get it. At least five to it. 10x Absolutely. minimum. So, so what's $40 billion in the infrastructure world? That's like the size of some very large companies. So yeah. very significant opportunity. We're very encouraged about what Amazon's doing. Yeah. I am too. I think it's a great opportunity yeah. for startups. I think you guys are demonstrating that startups can execute in this space yeah. because there's a ton of white space. Totally. As long as you know where Amazon's not going to roll you over. As well, Frank Artali said, they're like the bear running through the woods. You're either food or you're in their way. Yeah. Right, so. <laughs> faster. You know the whole adage, all I have to do is run faster yeah, than the next Why are you putting your guy. shoes on? <laughs> That's right, why do you got to run faster than the next guy? That's absolutely right. Okay, well, give us some other tidbits, anecdotal, Alan, uh, genius comment, say something brilliant, go. Wow, on demand, genius. Um, <laughs> You know, I think the fundamental issue that people are going to have to really look at, um, I didn't prepare this, John, so. Um, this is what Cube's all about. It's, this Bring Cube's in the all genius about. All, the, all the time, go. You know, if you do things the same way you did for the last five years, you're going to blow up from a security point of view. I think it was um, Einstein who said, you know, repeating something again and again and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. So if you're going to run your IT the way you've always run it in the last five years and you think you're going to be safe, you're absolutely insane. And I think there's a small amount of people who have gotten it in the last couple of years, more people are getting it, but I think you're going to see a fundamental shift. The most profound thing I can tell you is DevOps is the best thing that ever happened to security. The ability to continuously deliver software and continuously deliver security. Um, so everything that makes you faster in DevOps is ultimately going to make you more secure. It's non-intuitive, and you're going to be talking about that for the next three years. Al Cohen, the COO of Illumio, a fast-growing startup funded by some great investors, Steve Herod, Cube alumni, former VMware CTO, friend of the Cubes. Congratulations, you're watching SiliconAngle.tv's The Cube. Watch for us at other events. We're going to be here for another, another day and a half, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We'll be live at Oracle Open World. We'll be at Dell World. We'll be at the Grace Hopper Celebration. And two years from now, you're going to be in a Lumio World. And a Lumio <laughs> World, you heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it here. We are happy to, to serve, and remember, we have podcasts now. Go to siliconangle.tv. Guest of the week gets the podcast, and we also have Women Wednesdays, Top Women in Tech on Wednesday, featured on siliconangle.tv. You're watching theCUBE live in AWS reInvent. We'll be back more from Las Vegas after this short break.